could stand on them as part of our Commitment 2020 mini debate series. Today, we're hearing from the Democratic candidates in the race for U.S. House 6. U.S. House 6 includes Volusia County, Flagler County, and parts of St. Johns County. This area is currently represented by Republican Mike. Republican Congressman Michael Waltz. In our debate between the Democratic candidates, we asked them how they work to protect the coastline and the environment. When you look, the ocean's up eight inches now from climate change, and it's just going to get worse from here. So we really have to think long term and a nationwide initiative. Uh, what we have to do, we have to stop subsidizing fossil fuels. The fossil fuel deal is not working for us. You look, and whenever those emissions go in the atmosphere, they go everywhere. And so we're seeing now that, you know, we just missed Hurricane Dorian. Hurricanes are getting turbocharged. Flagler Beach is a very big issue. I think one of the phrases that is going to hear a lot more airtime is managed retreat. We're going to have to leave some places behind. It could be in Flagler Beach. You know, we're having issues right now with landowners not wanting to give permission to build artificial dunes there. So we're going to have to think real hard about how we're going to go forward because we're ground zero for climate change. And I agree that we need to have a big investment as well in our waterways and our wastewater treatment and our pipelines, you know, everything that we've left behind and neglected over the past decades. We need to protect our coastline. Uh, Mr. Thrip was right in most of the things he said. Uh, I agree with it. Another thing that I am proposing is instead of trying to get rid of fossil fuels, is that we actually put an investment into electric cars. Right now, we have electric cars. We have, you know, Teslas that will go 100 miles an hour, 300 miles on one charge, can change the battery in 90 seconds. If we put that infrastructure across the board, we would be able to reduce emissions by about 70%. We know this is a fact because during the coronavirus, when people were not driving, we actually saw those drops. So if we could actually convert them over to electric cars and put infrastructure so, you know, you drive along and you pull into a gas station and you get your battery changed in 90 seconds and you're on the road for another 300 miles, that's what we need. But gas stations won't be able to do it by themselves. We have to spend the money to bring that up and to make that something that actually works. You can oh my God! I'm still recording. I mean, U.S. House District Six. He just said you can change values and click on the commitment. No. <laughs> All right, just turned five nineteen here on our Tuesday.